Well, I tell you, you know, it can be so frustrating fishing these Florida lakes, or any lake really for that matter, no matter where it's at, with all this cover. I mean, you know, and you, you look at all the different places that have the potential to hold the fish. And, well, it all looks so good to me. I mean, it looks like it, you ought to pull you know, a fish it, out it, every every time. bit of it has potential. And if you don't really look for little things, like right here, this little channel, or, yeah. uh, a little isolated cover, like a cypress tree that sticks out further than the rest of them, just little things. That's why you do it for a living. Huh? That's why you do it for a living. Yeah, I just got a professional overrun, too. <laughs> that would be a backlash to you. That's right. Look at these guys rolling the camera. They always do this to me when I get a backlash. They have to chase my foul balls, too. <laughs> when I hit it over in the woods, I got to go get it on camera or not. Today, Hank and pro golfer Curtis Strange enjoy the kind of bass fishing every fisherman dreams of. Tell you what, Curtis, that wind's aggravating the fish, but we seem like when we get back to the I got a big fish. Oh. And bigger than that two-pounder? I don't want to put too much pressure on him. I'm going to just hold him and take the boat and go into him. Boy, look at the ball. He you is got a him? big fish. You got him? I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel him now. Golly, bum. Yeah, he's on there. I feel him. Oh, man. There he is. Oh. Look at the size God, of this thing. Baby. Look at the size of this oh, thing. Oh, he's got me wrapped all. I'll take the rod, Curtis. Man. Look at that. Look at the size of this. Golly, bum. Born and raised in Florida, huh? Man. I don't know what that fish will weigh. That's one of the biggest fish I've ever caught. Man, that may be the biggest fish. The biggest fish I've ever caught is 10 and 3 quarters. That's a giant. Oh, good looking fish there. Man, that's something. Whew. Can you believe that? That fish hit that bait. I ran it right by this little old log, and that fish hit the bait, and immediately. Same thing we were talking about, isolated cover right there. I love it. Woo. All right, let's go. I'm ready. Man, that'll fire me that's up. Definitely the biggest fish we've ever caught on the show. That may very well have been the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. At least I can say that now, anyway. <laughs> and we'll take a fascinating look at one of the most respected creatures in the animal kingdom. And also today. Is that a big enough net, Bill? For these I think it'll be fine. <laughs> well, I hope it is. Anyway. Hey, we're making preparations to launch the boat here in the French Broad River in the Great Smoky Mountains. We're going to go down and do some musky fishing. This particular body of water, from what I'm told from the biologists, is one of the most productive stretches of water in the southeast for musky. So we're going to go down and fish here with my guide, Bill Allen, and see if we can't catch a musky for you today. So you stick with us. We're going to have a lot of fun. Ready, Bill? He's gone fishing. Hank Parker's Outdoor Magazine, featuring the only sportsman to ever win the BASS Triple Crown, the Bassmasters Classic, BASS Angler of the Year, and Super Bass 4. I'm talking on this telephone, Angie, but this is your husband. If you remember what I look like, I haven't been home in so long. But I'm standing on the stage here looking out at about a thousand people at Super Bass, and I just won the tournament. <laughs> Bill, tell me a little bit about the river now. The muskie here, are they native to the river? They're native to the French Broad River. Uh, and all the drainage systems that drained in 
to the Mississippi in our area. But then in the 50s, when pollution killed them all out. So this river, the pollution killed all the native muskie out of this river? Not only muskie, it killed catfish, bass, all the minnows and suckers. This right? particular section of the river we're on right now, for all intents and purposes, was dead. How many years ago are we talking? Oh, 15, 18 years. Is that right? So all the muskie that are in here have been put here within the last 15 years? They started the stocking program in, after the water cleaned back up in 1970 and 71. Did you ever have the opportunity to fish the river before the pollution when the native uh, muskie were here? Not really. Uh, my father and grandfather got to fish for them quite a bit. So your grandfather, your father and your grandfather were both muskie fishermen in the French Broad here? Right. You got a muskie fishing heritage. How many muskie have you caught out of the river, let's say, in the last 15 years since they stocked them back? Well, they only stocked them back. Since 71, I started fishing for them about 71. six I'd years ago, seriously fishing 14. for them. And I've caught 152 out of the river itself. Is that right? That's incredible. Now, I've heard the old timers say up Wisconsin and Minnesota, where they have a lot of a reasonable musky population, that you catch one for every hundred hours you spend fishing. Have you found that to be true, or do you do a little better than that? We're doing considerably better than that here. We're down to about, I would say now, somewhere between 24 and 28 hours. 24 and 28 hours. That's for legal size fish, which is 30 inches. I see, that would be 54 television shows. If we do 54 television shows, we'll catch a muskie. <laughs> if you got the time, I got the time. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid I don't have the time. <laughs> Man, that's a pretty river. But I'll tell you what now, that's a good snake. If the muskie feed on the snake in here, we ought to be able to catch a big muskie. I suppose they'd hit a snake if one come by and they were hungry. I don't think I can throw a bait that big. My grandfather. There he is. Oh! Ah, there he was. That was him. That was him. Boy, he hit it good, too. That was him. Doggone current's gonna carry us right over his pumpkin head. Oh, man. No, we got stopped. We're stopped. Now, are we too close to him, you think? Mm -hmm. Boy, he hit it. He hit it good. You huh? stuck him pretty good. He might, uh, he might be a little gun shy. I'm go back down. Let's come back the way I came. See what happened. Man, that was unreal. That big giant come up out of there. That's a pretty good fish. That was a big old fish to me. <laughs> I'm not used to seeing something like that. Yeah, that's a pretty good fish. Yeah. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. <laughs> Can you believe I missed that fish? I, we fish along here for so long, I just kind of got lax and missed that fish. You only get a few opportunities when you musky fish. You know, bass fishing, you have a lot of opportunities and you cast at all the logs and kind of expect a strike. But after a while, you fish for an hour or two musky fishing, you almost don't expect a strike. And so when I had the opportunity, I blew it. And that cost us. We're going to go back next year. We knew before we started uh, we were going to have some good scenery, beautiful river, uh, and the odds of catching a muskie were slim. But we've arranged it with Bill, and we're going to go back next year. And we're going to stay up there three or four days if it takes that many, and we're going to catch us a muskie on film. Hey, don't go away. We'll be right back. Next, we'll take a closer look at Florida's most famous reptile, but not too close. And while we're in Florida, we'll catch up with Hank and special guest Curtis Strange. Uh, there you go. I think I've got what you're talking about. There got he is. It. Good gosh, what a fish, Curtis. Hold it, he's got okay. your back. Get over there, baby. Yeah. 
That's bigger than a two pounder, yeah. I think. Don't you think? Give me a Don't be messing around with my fish now. Get him up in Get the boat. Pull, pull your rod up, Curtis. Get your rod high. <laughs> what a fish. Woo. Look at this. Don't be messing around with him now. <laughs> That'll be all right. Huh? You think? Uh -huh. For years, the world's best outboard performance has come in just one color, black. Mercury Phantom Black. Legendary power to ski, the performance to fly. Explore a river, tame an ocean. From the challenge of a race course to a trouble-free family cruise, the outboard legend is Phantom Black. Mercury Outboards, put the legend behind you. LCR 8000, from Humminbird, the liquid crystal recorder that makes charts obsolete. With features like totally automatic operation, total screen update, screen memory, and zoom and bottom lock with split screen viewing, the LCR 8000 does things charts can never do. Humminbird LCR 8000, the ultimate in fish finding technology. There are three ways you can try moving closer to these fish. With a gas outboard, with a noisy electric, or with a quiet Minn Kota electric. To a fisherman, the choice is black and white. Minn Kota, the quiet power that catches fish. Why do I use original fish formula? Simple. Fish formula contains an oil base that perfectly duplicates the natural visual discharge given off by shad, crayfish, and most everything game fish feed on. The scent and taste attractors in the formula stay on my lure and live bait longer and at greater depth. Original fish formula absolutely helps me catch more and bigger bass than any other species I fish for. I just don't go fishing without original fish formula. Here's Hank's tip of the week. Tournaments like these, you know, our outboards constantly catch abuse, and occasionally we need some service. And today I've got Mr. Roy Regal with me, a factory tech rep, and we're gonna talk about some preventant maintenance. You know, last year, Roy, we had a lot of ride-ins. Viewers asking us how we could winterize a boat where we didn't have the problem of freezing up. So why don't you go through and show us how we can winterize our outboards? Be happy to, Hank. First thing, you'd store the outboard straight up and down. Right. This drains all the water. Okay, get all the water out of your process. Then the next yeah, thing is you'll have to winterize on the inside. One of the reasons we're running into is the less oil that we're running now and lighter oils. We have some companies running 50 to 1 ourselves and some are running 100 to 1. So we have a winterizing fluid. Just remove the spark plug. And give this thing a good dose. Just spray that right in the Spray it in the hole, just kind of spread it around in there. I see. This keeps a, a film of oil on the piston and the cylinder walls to keep from rusting through the winter rack. Now, next spring, just fire it up and it's going to smoke a little bit, but it'll burn, burn itself it right, right out. out. Well, that's and good. ready to go. That's neat. Hey, that sounds like a neat tip for winterizing your boat. If you'd like a printed copy of a few of Hank's tips, drop him a line. Write Hank Parker's Outdoor Magazine, Denver, North Carolina. When the mighty dinosaur became extinct, four groups of reptiles managed to survive. These include lizards, turtles, snakes, and alligators. Alligators are the largest reptiles in America, and according to fossil remains, they look quite similar to the way they appeared so long ago. Like all of God's creatures, alligators are well suited for the world in which they live, their toes are webbed for paddling as well as for walking over soft, marshy terrain. Their tail serves as both a paddle and a rudder in swimming. 
Alligators are creatures of the warm climates of the Deep South, and especially of the swamps and bayous that line the Gulf Coast from Texas to Florida. Although they spend their entire lives within an area of just a few acres, alligators are considered extremely important in the entire ecological system that surrounds them. They are very vocal creatures, able to bark practically at birth, and later developing a roar or bellow that sounds like a foghorn. They'll eat practically anything they can catch, but the majority of their diet consists of small animals, fish, turtles, and even aquatic insects. If necessary, they can survive weeks without eating. 200 years ago, naturalist William Bartram described a South Florida river saying, the alligators were in such incredible numbers and so close together from shore to shore that it would have been easy to have walked across on their heads had the animals not been dangerous. Well, there aren't quite that many alligators on our rivers today, but there are enough to ensure this fascinating holdover from the dinosaur age will be around for many more years to come. Whew, Curtis, that is one honker of an alligator, buddy. Isn't that? As long as he stays where he is, and we stay where we are. You don't like him? I think he likes the boat. He wants to come get a closer look. Glad we got a 24-volt troll motor. Boy, there should be a fish in there. Oh, it. There he is. Let me get you in there. Hold on. I'll get him in there. Don't pull him too tight. He'll come on. I still see the water ball. Yeah, it's, he's on there. Feel him? Just kind of keep him snugged up in there, Curtis. I can't tell how big he is. He's wrapped around everything in there. Boy, he's making a good swirl. You got him loose? All right. That's a nice fish. What you got? Not bad. What you got? Not bad. That is. That's a nice fish. I'm trying to spinner bait. That fish didn't really hit hard, did he? No. Well, I had him in the weeds. I couldn't tell how big he was. There's a fish. I got one. Myself. There you go. Boy, I got a big one. There you go, Terry. That's a trick the way you catch those big ones. Now tell me how you do that. Well, look at that, Curtis. Sand hill crane. Right? I thought yeah. I heard them while I go. Boy, aren't they pretty? Tell you what, Curtis, things might start happening. Looking pretty good. Start off with a double. You got this fish? Ooh. Oh, man, look at him sing. Hey, don't be playing with him. He's good fish. Look at the size of this thing. Good gosh, Curtis, look at here, boy. Oh, God. Boy, how about that? Well, what's that, huh? five or six there? Oh, it's probably over two pounds anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, I barely had that fish. Isn't that a pretty fish? Beautiful. Boy, love it. Go back in there and let Curtis catch him. <laughs> Hey, we're starting out. We're going to have a super day today. It's going to be interesting. We're going to have a very special guest for you, a guy that's won more money on the PGA Tour in a single season than anybody in professional golfing history, Mr. Curtis Strange. Thank Curtis, you, sir. Good to have you on the show today. Uh, nice to be here. Treat for us. Yeah, we're going to have some fun, I think. I think we may catch after, a fish. After seeing that, it'll be some fun. <laughs> Do you know how to fish as well as you know how to golf? Well, no, that's why I'm here. <laughs> we'll, find, I'm we'll find out as the day goes on anyway. Catch another one of those big fish. Man, I can get into that pretty quick. You know, every once in a while, there comes a product that has a real practical benefit to the fishermen. And I'm proud to say that Quick Kick's that kind of a product. No bells or whistles, Quick Kick is just the most innovative improvement to the troll motor since the foot pedal itself. Quick Kick, when attached to your foot pedal, secures the pedal in place. This will allow you to travel at high speeds in rough water without fear of damage to your boat or your trolling motor. Yet, at the same time, pivot from side to side with just a simple kick of the foot. 
This will allow you to position your pedal without bending over and using your hands. And best of all, Quick Kick is available for any size troll motor in all types of boats, from aluminum to fiberglass. When ordering, be sure to specify the model of your trolling motor. Call toll-free or send $22.95 plus $4 shipping to Hank Parker's Quick Kick, Denver, North Carolina. Quick Kick will give you more time for the <laughs> important things. <laughs> Go for it with RYOBI, tough, dependable reels for any kind of fishing. RYOBI, there's never been a better reason to go fishing. You're looking at the high-technology laser system Berkeley uses to make Trilene fishing line. The line that's stronger than the rest. The line Jack Chancellor fished to win the Bassmaster Classic. Mike Folkstead used to win the U.S. Open. The line that set over 1,000 world records in the past two years. And the line that guarantees satisfaction or your money back. Fish Trilene. Berkeley Trilene. America's extra strong premium monofilament. It's hard to believe a line that thin can be so strong. Big one, huh? Big fish. Oh, he's coming under the boat. Oh, man. You got me down the troll motor. It's around that troll motor. I don't know where he's at. There he is back here. There he goes. Let me get this thing up. Fighting little thing there, yeah. wasn't he? Man, alive. He had me around the troll motor, the back of the boat. I gotta have a pair of pliers. Get him out. Thank you, sir. Good job there. Oh, man. Where'd he come, right out of the lily pads? Out of the lilies. That's what he wanted, to ride that thing up on top. That fish right there will probably be a legal keeper state of Virginia. Hank, I wonder what the uh, people who work for a living are doing today. Tell you what, they got it tough. <laughs> I tried working once, Curtis, but it didn't interfered you? with my fishing so bad I had to give it up. You didn't like it, huh? <laughs> Not at all. Got him. What you got, Curtis? Got him. Oh, man. All right. What you got, Curtis? Hey, Mike. Come here. Come here. Don't you get my finger now. Huh? Man, what have you got? He's bigger than that other one, you think, huh? You do that to me. You do all right. Man, you here. You're hogging the back of the boat on me. That fish will weigh almost two pounds. Hey. <laughs> I think they bought some real estate from you, too. <laughs> that's pretty nice there. Man, that's a good job. How about it? All right, big boy. There you this go. Cloud cover may help us out, I'll tell you that. That'll make the rest of the day a little easier. I guarantee you, boy, that's a pretty fish. This cloud cover may turn them on a little bit. That Cypress Point looks pretty sporty down there. You there you go. There you go. What'd you do? Hang it again? Oh, man. I got a good one. I'll tell you that. Oh, here. Yeah. I got a good one. Nice one there. Man. Good fish. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Oh, man. 
man. Oh, man. Look at the size of that fish. Oh, gosh. Woo! That's almost as big as the one I just caught. Come here, baby. Yeah. Oh. Kurt. Look at that. What have we got? Boy, look at that spinnerbait. Do you think he did a number on that spinnerbait? I just barely had him hung. Mm -hmm. Boy, that fish was strong. He tried to run me up under the boat. How about yeah, that? Yeah, you they like that? Why do I use original fish formula? Simple. Fish formula contains an oil base that perfectly duplicates the natural visual discharge given off by shad, crayfish, and most everything game fish feed on. The scent and taste attractors in the formula stay on my lure and live bait longer and at greater depth. Original fish formula absolutely helps me catch more and bigger bass than any other species I fish for. I just don't go fishing without original fish formula. At Ranger, safety has always been extremely important. As a pioneer in upright and level flotation, our safety standards are among the highest in the industry. Beneath the surface of every Ranger, quality construction and foam filled cavities tell the whole story. Even with huge sections of the bow, floor, rails and transom cut away, a Ranger boat remains very much afloat. Ranger boats, we still build them one at a time. Berkley makes a rod so sensitive you can feel a feather drop on the tip. It's called the Berkley Bionics. Biomedically engineered to be the lightest, most sensitive graphite you've ever fished. Berkley scientists have taken you apart muscle by muscle, cast by cast, to build a rod that significantly reduces wrist and forearm fatigue. A 100% high energy graphite that casts like the wind. A rod that makes every strike register as a solid jolt. And a rod that can make you a better fisherman. Berkley Bionics, the best performing graphite rod you've ever fished, or your money back. I'm afraid we've about run out of light. The day has been a super, super day. Curtis, I'll tell you what, you're as good a fisherman as you are a golfer. You're an expert at it. Super guy, Curtis. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you, Hank. I really enjoyed it. It's fun to see how the other professions do it. <laughs> I really appreciate you being with me today. I enjoyed it. I appreciate Hank. you being with me. God bless you. I'm Hank Park. Boy, that's something. I tell you what, you get in fish like Hank Parker's Outdoor Magazine. Sponsored by 100% high-energy graphite rods from Berkeley Bionics. Fish formula, we fool Mother Nature. Humminbird depth sounders. Mercury outboards, put the legend behind you. Minkota, quiet power catches fish. Ranger boats, we still build them one at a time. Ryobi, there's never been a better reason to go fishing. And Trilene, extra strong. Outdoor Magazine is looking for kids. America's missing and exploited kids. If you believe you have information that could lead to the location and recovery of one of these missing children, please help. Call the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. 1-800-843-LOST. Let's find America's kids. <laughs>